Hi and welcome to Capacity TV. I'm Jason McGee Arbe, Editor-in-Chief of Capacity Media. I'm here in Atlanta, ITW 2019, and I'm glad and delighted to be joined today by Mark Halfinger, CEO of PCCW Global. Mark, welcome. Thanks very much, Jason. Good to be here. Excellent. So we mentioned it, Atlanta, ITW 2019. How has the show been uh, for you so far in the last couple of days, meeting all your customers and partners? I think uh, ITW is sort of the World Cup of, uh, of meetings in the wholesale space. Uh, we have uh, had a very full schedule as we do each year. Uh, this year seems perhaps even a little bit more than most. Shift in technology, many different service providers around the globe. It's been a very good opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you uh, also did the charity run here as well. So really uh, some early starts as well, Mark. We did, we did. Uh, we're very proud to sponsor that uh, each year and try and contribute towards the work that uh, TSF is doing in helping uh, uh, get telecommunications into problem spots whenever natural disaster should strike. Very important work and, yeah. and, it's, and it's great that you support that. Um, you mentioned lots of different um, kind of customers um, at the beginning. Um, so if I may, with, let's talk about softwareization and the importance of that within the industry and it's certainly something that PCCW Global is a firm avid supporter of and has been evidenced with the acquisition of Console Connect. And um, explain a little bit about how important softwareization is in the industry today. Um, and equally, you know, where are we with Console Connect and its uh, acquisition and, and the integration? You have previously obviously said as well many times that it's very much PCCW Global integrating into Console Connect as opposed to the other way. All true. Uh, we acquired Console Connect in uh, November of 2017. Uh, started to work on integrating the two environments uh, almost immediately, just before Christmas that year. And uh, we have taken the approach that it's necessary to adjust ourselves to software style behavior to uh, develop an agile based processes. We've adopted SAFE, which stands for Scaled Agile Framework, as the common framework for decision making within PCCW Global. That allows some of the colleagues who are more uh, hardware legacy oriented along with colleagues who are perhaps more software oriented to speak from a common language. Common language is quite necessary, particularly when you're integrating very different environments. I think that SAFE or, or Agile has is, is been more uh, famously attributed to the software world, but it can actually be adopted to almost any organizational framework. And we found it to be quite valuable. Uh, Console Connect itself has uh, methodically been distributed first, geared up to the PCCW global network. We've effectively established a automated switch fabric that's connected to a physical network. Therefore, it's, I think, one of the few fabrics, perhaps the only, that exists globally that can also guarantee a quality of service for the automated connections that come over it. We're quite pleased with that. Uh, we don't look at the platform as being customer-oriented. I, I, I do want to correct that. We look at it as user-oriented. And perhaps ITW, as, as more of a wholesale orientation uh, event, I would say that it's less about customers here and more about relationships. Wholesale is often about bilateral relationships, trade of traffic and, and units of value between and among service providers. And Console Connect is just an automated platform that facilitates that connectivity among users. Mm -hmm. So lots at play, lots of, lots of things evolving. Um, let's talk about the carrier's role then um, in forging uh, you know, the t a term that is going around, uh, the fourth industrial revolution. Um, it was a keynote, it was one of the panel sessions here at ITW, um, and it was really interesting, thought-provoking conversations were had. Um, what are your thoughts on the carrier's role in the fourth industrial revolution? Um, and how important do you think of things like interoperability at every layer um, to that journey that we're, we're going to be experiencing? Quite critical. Uh, we're, we're faced with a few issues. Number one is an industry that has uh, always been at, at, uh, at the backdrop of almost any retail offering that exists with a series of cross-border relationships facilita facilitating traffic of any kind. Uh, the challenge perhaps has always been that over time those processes have remained somewhat manual. And as long as the amount of traffic was finite and quantifiable and easily managed, uh, perhaps those manual processes were available. Now we're headed to a world where devices or every instance perhaps will be connected in some way, shape or form, will be crossing borders, collecting data, collecting traffic. And the monetization of that traffic and the way those uh, uh, devices are perhaps provisioned or monitored or exchanging value sets 
cross-border or cross-networks or cross-environments, cross-platforms, requires some form of automation, interoperability, and an understanding of which provider is which providing which service, which access to information to any type of user along a value chain. From my point of view, this uh, really brings into play some of the things that we're also doing in the Global Leaders Forum to assure that the industry is starting to address itself to more sophisticated interoperability driven through automation tools. And I believe that uh, where things are headed also in the mobile space around IoT, which, which frankly isn't just a mobile story, it's also a fixed story, but it is, can be very much wholesale in nature, is going to force all of us to rethink the way we do our processes and to assure that interoperability amongst every type of ICT service provider will be meaningful. You've touched on the Global Leaders Forum there, um, Mark. Um, big announcement that was made at ICW 2019 around uh, you know, the blockchain technology, collaboration uh, um, with other carriers. Would you like to explain that in a little bit more detail? Uh, t two words about Global Leaders Forum. First, we've, uh, it, it brings together leaders of many service providers from around the world. Uh, we sit together a few times a year, together with working groups that are formed uh, by direction from the GLF leadership uh, to assure that certain areas are focused upon. Some of the areas that we've touched on up till now have been anti-fraud, security, and now more recently we're looking at uh, issues like bandwidth on demand, new service development, uh, IoT, Edge Cloud, and the one that's caught a lot of noise at this ITW has been around distributed ledger technology, or also known as blockchain. Uh, GLF has decided to establish a special purpose vehicle that would effectively establish a set of governance rules to help facilitate the industry, exactly as I alluded to in, uh, in answering your previous question, to try and bring about a set of automation for all forms of ICT traffic, for every type of ICT service provider, on an automated basis. This would also include issues such as evolving into smart contracting, instead of having manual contracts to effectively code contracts and then allow those contracts to be settled commercially, even with deviations from from uh, settlement in some way on an automated basis. I think that will help yield also additional dynamism into the industry, uh, facilitate perhaps more enhanced productization and be more flexible and will help identify for some retail entities how valuable the wholesale component can be. And PCCW Glow was certainly primed up for, for, for that. We, we hope to be. I don't think that we're the largest carrier out there, but we like to feel that we're dynamic, agile, nimble, uh, playing ball in areas that make sense to us. We have a strong base of invested activity in Asia, in the Middle East, in Africa, Southeast Europe. Uh, we also have a, a strong uh, point of presence base in uh, North America. Recently, we expanded our network in the last year and a half into Latin America as well. So we feel that we have strong, good global coverage. Uh, of our IP backbone and certainly now with the introduction of the console connect capability that facilitates the softwareized automated fabric that sits on top of that IP backbone together with the global transmission infrastructure and most importantly uh, a strong group of people uh, positioned around the world who are able to facilitate interactions with many other service providers in the wholesale space and in some instances in the retail environment as well. PCW Global is eager to continue to be involved in the process. Exciting times ahead, and, and we look forward to seeing what happens. Exciting, challenging, competitive, but we're in, we're in for the long haul. Excellent. Well, Mark, thank you very much for joining us on Capacity TV. It's good to see you, Jason.